Hey guys, uh, it's Phil, Angler Angler. Actually, uh, in Newport here today. Um, gonna get some bait, try something a little different. I'm trying to mix up my videos. I'm gonna be all uh, lures and spotties and that. So I'm gonna mix it up a little today. Actually, gonna grab some mussels here um, off the dock. And uh, I got a bucket, throw some in there. Uh, fresh mussel, man, it catches pretty much everything in the harbor. So, um, let me get some, see what happens. Right down in there, as you can see. Yeah, fresh mussels, easy. Just pulled a few off the side of the docks here. You can legally go down there uh, on this dock at least and uh, pull a few up if you want them. Try not to go overboard, just enough to use for the fishing. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to a different spot and fish. So can't fish off the dock here, and it's actually not a very good spot anyway. I got a couple spots that I usually like to fish from the shore here. Oh, when I got fresh mussel, so I'm gonna go and uh, check one of those spots out, get it set up. Hopefully, we we'll get something. All right, so here we go. Um, basically, I'm using a Carolina rig. As you can see, it's a sliding sinker. That's just to keep the bait. Here's the bait mussel. It's a size four hook and about half ounce weight. The current's not too strong right now. Uh, it will probably pick up in a little bit here. Um, I may use a bigger one. It just depends. So I'm going to throw it out there, set the rod down, just wait, see if they pick it up. The thing I like to do um, when I'm fishing with that sliding sinker is um, to have a little bit of loose line hanging out. I don't want my line super tight, like directly to the weight. I want a little bit of a loop. What happens when the fish takes it, it will actually start to pull the line up. And when that happens, you know the fish is taking it because he's pulling it through that weight. He doesn't feel the weight, but he's got the bait and he's swimming with it. And uh, typically, he's going to grab it, swim, and as he's swimming away, he'll swallow it. And that's when we hook him up. But, so I have this loop, and I'm just going to watch that loop. Like I said, it's kind of like this. But when it straightens out, if it starts to go out, then I know the fish is starting to bite it. So I don't have it tight like a lot of people will do. Um, not to say that that's wrong, but this is just the way I prefer fish. Um, I get more fish because it seems like when they take the bait, I give them a little bit more time to actually swim away with it and get it in their mouth. Whereas if the line's tight, if they grab the bait and not the hook, when they swim away, they just tear the bait off the hook. And uh, mussels are notorious for being soft. Um, staying you know they're they're hard to keep on the hook so having that little bit of play where the fish can take it gives them a little more time and i you know for me it, it seems like it makes a little bit of a difference here so just kind of keeping an eye on that for right now so in the meantime since i have the other rod i'm going to throw out a lure and see if i can catch a bass or a halibut That was actually caught right on the piling of this bridge. Uh, it's a good spotty. There you go. I caught him on all things a jig head with a plastic worm, a four inch plastic worm curly tail. Oh, and I got a fish on this other line here. Um, so I'm gonna let this guy go really quick so I could reel this other fish in. But yeah, there you go, look at that. Spotty, ugh, get him off. 
on the uh, this jig head with the plastic worm tail. Nice fish. Let's reel this one in. Not the biggest fish, but a little sand bass on the mussels. We're gonna let this guy go too and see if I can get this without him hitting me. Alright buddy, here we go. You got that in there pretty good. There we go, little baby sand bass. And he's out. Wow. That was crazy. You don't really want to cast muscles hard. Uh, like, don't try to launch it into, you know, the next hemisphere. Because um, they're really soft, and if you try to throw it out too hard, a lot of times it'll come off the hook. So uh, just try to, you know, do a, a really good lob kind of cast. You know, get it out there, but, but don't whip it. Just kind of more lob and get it out there. Um, and that'll usually work better for you. Uh, it keeps the bait on the hook. Muscle comes through again. A little spotty this time. Kind of small. I like that last one I caught. That one's a good one. <laughs> but uh, another fish. It's a long drop, actually. Yeah, he hit that thing hard. I saw him hit it once. He hit it once, and then he just came back and grabbed it that time. Yeah, they feel very big, but let's see. It's like a sand bass. Not a big one, but it is a sand bass. You can tell by those bars on his body, brown color. Um, let him go. All right, he made it. So that was crazy. I just saw some bonita uh, back here swim by, probably about four or five of them. I had that crankbait on, and uh, they looked at it and didn't really go after it. I think it was a little bit too big, so I'm doing, I'm switching up here have a, a little hair jig yeah. a lot of bonita on this thing oh I recommend don't bite the line with your teeth <laughs> I'm gonna lose a tooth one of these days um, little hair jig I'm gonna throw that out there might be a little light but they do like these things so we'll see I don't know if we got that on camera, but right over on that second bridge piling over there across from us where we were just at, I saw Bonita come up and chase some bait. Um, it might be on the camera. I'm going to see. That'd be kind of cool. If it is, I'll, I'll, I'll 
roll a clip of that, but he blasted some bait right by the pilot, so I think they're over there. I tried catching a couple of them, but they were moving real quick, so we'll see. Hey guys, a little quick insight onto the uh, the Bonita there. Um, it's kind of a surprise. I saw them come through, and there was about five of them, I think, or six. And they were a good size. They were three or four pounders, you know, which is really good for the bay. Um, they come in every year. It seems like every year we always get a few uh, when I'm fishing, especially during the summer. They'll swim into the bay and chase the bait and stuff. Um, some years they're they're really thick, awesome. Uh, some years it's just very few. Uh, last year there was not too many. A lot of really s ones we caught were small, so it wasn't a very good year. But I've I've had years there where they're everywhere in there. And um, if you ever caught a bonito there, it's a tough fish. <laughs> they're one of the funnest fish to catch. Super aggressive, super fast. Um, and uh, I was kind of excited to see him in there. That's why I kind of got all pumped up. I was like, God, I hope that's this year, you know. Um, I haven't seen any caught or heard of any caught in the harbor so far. Um, but it was good to see him in there. You know, that's a that's a, a positive thing. Maybe this will be the year that we get some in there. Um, you know, I'm just kind of being hopeful. <laughs> we still got a couple months left this summer. You know, it would be really nice to have him in there. I think at Catalina right now, they're, they're killing him over there. But they'll... Yeah, you know, that's 26 miles away from us, so maybe more. Anyway, um, I hope you liked the video, and uh, please uh, like, subscribe, um, you know, the channel. I like to hear any comments you guys have, um, you know, try to help the channel be better and give you some more interesting content. But anyways, um, thanks again, and uh, I'll see you on the next video.